Hey guys, it's uh, me again. Uh, it's been, what, a day, maybe? Uh, probably a day. But but look at that, we're up to version 1.0.4, yay, in such a short amount of time. Um, I've done a lot, actually, to the program since uh, I last uh, shown it off, so uh, there's enough changes that I figure it's worth uh, kind of doing uh, an update video to s just to show you guys what I've been up to. I've gotten a couple of questions already on, on uh, how I'm putting this together, so let me kind of give you a rough rundown of what I'm doing. I'm using Python 3 with uh, PyQt4 um, for the uh, um, graphical application itself. I would have loved to use PyQt5, but there is a uh, dependency, um, several modules that, that I'm using to put the graphs together and uh, what have you that depends on PyQt4, so that's why I'm using that version. Uh, I'm using NumPy to kind of hold all of the uh, data in its array, and I'm using matplotlib to actually draw the, uh, the graph itself. So anyways, um, that's how it's put together. But some of the changes uh, since I last uh, shared this application with you guys is that I updated the uh, app icon to like this chart thing. Um, and if you're looking on like the, the taskbar, it shows up much more clearly and looks, it looks cooler. I used to have this globe, which was supposed to signify that it's an internet-capable uh, app, because um, it goes out and grabs, you know, price data from Yahoo and, and what have you. Uh, but I figure this this is more apropos and, and kind of looks better, anyways. Um, the other big thing is that I've updated all of the colors to the application. It's a bit darker now in the background. I had like a charcoal gray that was that was dark, but not as dark as I would have liked. So I made that change. Um, added this legend here so you can see exactly what the uh, moving averages are because it's it wasn't as apparent in the first version especially since I since I didn't have uh, parameters so you didn't know what the heck was going on with these uh, moving averages what have you I added a simple status bar because some of the things that we do with the program like updating the stock prices um, if you have a lot of issues may take three to five minutes and it may seem that the program is just hangs it just hangs there and it's not doing anything while in fact it is going out there pulling price data updating the database and all of that so now it's much clearer every time it does something it uh, fills in the status bar I still may change how it looks but uh, it's there so that's cool uh, one of the other big things I did was just to rewrite the ability to save the image um, to a local folder. So right now it looks kind of ugly, but it works. So if I click on this, I can give it a name, um, browse to a location. But if I'm happy with that, I can just say save chart. And I probably will redo that dialog box to make it look better, but at least it works. And the main reason I was doing that is that there's this built-in function of uh, matplotlib that will save the chart. The problem is that it saves uh, only the colors within the plot area itself. And I have a lot of custom er uh, colors here. So for example, this whole frame is dark. And what happens is that the default um, method renders it white, which makes all of the titles and uh, axis labels and tick labels and all that kind of goes away, which is, which is not cool. Anyways, this is, this is how it looks. So here's our chart. Um, you can take that, draw on it, uh, send it an email, do whatever you want, post it on your website, um, but that functionality is there, so that's, that's kind of cool. But probably the biggest thing that I did was to add these parameters down here. So it comes with a bunch of defaults, uh, for example, uh, RSI is on a 14 uh, period, uh, MACD is using the standard 12, 26, and 9, but course you can change that to whatever you want moving averages are at 20 days and 200 days um, but for example if you look at it and you say hey I don't I don't like this 20 day moving average you can change it to 50 and click update uh, not update chart stock and there you go so it recalculates it and replots it so for example if I want to pull up um, I don't know Chipotle uh, since it may be an interesting play. And let's look at like a 15-day moving average 
over a 100-day moving average. And then we can chart that. So querying the database, and then uh, drawing the chart. So here we go. The white line is my 15-day, and the blue line is the 100-day. Uh, so you can see that uh, uh, there's a lot more functionality here. So that's, that's pretty cool. Future additions for the program will include things like uh, updated indicators, more indicators. I just have to figure out how I make it all work. You, want, you don't want to throw 15 indicators on your chart. You'll just have a big old mess, but uh, I'll figure out how to make that all work. And at some point here, when it gets to a point where I feel like it's, it's uh, ready to be released, uh, I probably would just put it out and, and share it with folks. But anyways, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions for me, feel free to put it in the comments below, and I will do my best to, uh, to answer it. Thanks, guys.